how you doing? Look at my greasy mess. <laughs> I didn't even realize that until I turned the camera on, you know? <laughs> but hey, guess what happens when you take a country boy, stick him in the city, and he needs to do some work. So, yeah. I made myself a little temporary garage is what I did. It's like 90, 90 some degrees, you know? Humidity, thick enough to cut it, you know? So, hey, let me show you my little makeshift garage. So yeah, welcome to my little makeshift city garage. <laughs> you know, it's the best way to keep out of the sun, you know? Looks like I'm gonna have to adjust it. My sunlight's starting to creep up on me. But yeah, the truck's getting worked on. Doing lower ball joints, upper control arms, uh, tie rod ends, and brakes, and end links on the front end. And then after that's done, I gotta go to the rear and do rear brakes and axle seals. The gear oil is getting into the rear brakes and it's got them turned into like a, I don't know, jelly almost. You know, not, not quite as soft as jelly, you know, but it makes the pads soft. So I gotta do that next. But I'm almost done here. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm halfway done on the front end. I got the passenger side done. I'm working on getting ready to start the driver's side. And you can see my little garage set up here. <laughs> uh, she's a mess, but I'm getting it done, you know. Uh, had to go out and pick up one of those ball joint presses. Uh, you know, it's one of those things you, you don't need it very often, but I noticed the instructions show that you can use it to press uh, U joints out and various other things. So, you know, I'll use it for different things. You know what I mean? You never know what I might come with, but I got this little C here because the pavement's probably 110 or so. She's just radiating that heat. The kid was out here and lost his shoe. <laughs> yeah. That's my little, I found that. And I use that to plug tools in and out of the basement. But yeah, we're having a fun day today. So yeah, I'm out here in this, you know, hot weather, working on the truck. Uh, I gotta be careful I don't go into the house too much. It's like 68 degrees or so in there with the AC running. So if I go in there too much and I come outside, it just makes it worse, you know? But to put the misery, you know, kind of, so to put the icing on the cake here, the misery is 10 times worse than what you think. That's because I got a pretty good dose of uh, poison on my legs and it runs right up into the manhood. It's bad. It's actually worse up towards the top there. And I'm telling you what, I am the itchiest son of a gun you can imagine right now. I got a pretty healthy dose of it. Uh, all that weed whacking and stuff, I ended up clearing out some brush and, you know, all that poison juice all over the pants and then you're working in it. And it made its way into the worst places imaginable. <laughs> but I'm suffering and I'm gonna, you know, I'll get it done. I just gotta deal with it, you know. Uh, the itching is so bad, I'm starting to, to rub it raw. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things. But now that I'm looking at it, it looks like I need a belt too. Yep, I got a tear starting on my belt. How bad is it? Yep. So it looks like I'm gonna need to replace the belt too. I just put that one on. I got a tear starting on it. I better get that fixed soon. But anyway, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the heat as much as I am. It sucks. I'm about eating my phone right now. I should back it up some. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, uh, wish I could tell you I was working on a saw right now or out cutting or something like that, but I'm not. I'm probably gonna be working on this all weekend long. <sighs> you know, 
it, uh, it needs to be done. The truck was all clunky and everything else going down the road. It was chewing up the tires real bad, you know, she needed done. And uh, I'm getting on it. I just, I think I picked the hottest weekend to do it. But oh well, that's what happens. You can't, uh, can't stop the chores because of some heat. Uh, I would have loved to come out here early in the morning and knocked it out in an hour or two, but this isn't an hour or two job. This is like a day and a half. So I'm gonna suffer through the heat to get this done. Uh, I don't crawl around the ground very easily. So, you know, this is a little bit more challenging. I wish I could lift it up to, you know, waist high because I could have done this in a lot shorter time, but I can't, you know, I gotta suffer through it. But anyway, I thought you guys would enjoy this little homemade garage setup I'm doing here. These canopies are one of those things you start finding uses for them once you own them, you know? You start using them for every opportunity you got. I've, I've done vehicle work in the rain, you know, thunderstorms and everything else with this canopy. It sucks if you gotta lay on the ground, but you know, it still keeps you out of most of the rain, I guess you could say. But anyway, hey, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.